Hi, this is Alexandra with Beta Holic, and in this video, I'm excited to show you how to make a beautiful holiday collage bracelet using none design elements. We've got these wonderful holiday collage sheets with vintage style images, some antique bezel bracelets, the bezel templates that we use to get our accurate shapes and sizes. And there will be three stages to this, where first we're going to glue the images in, then we'll seal them, and then we'll pour the resin. So for this first stage, I'm going to take my glue and pour some out just onto a post-it here. And I'm not going to use a whole lot, I'm just going to do enough to make the base tacky and press it up to the edge. You don't need a whole lot of white in there because you want to have it dry kind of as quickly as possible because of the multiple stages of this project. Each one is going to need to dry a bit. So I'm going to get this all in here first. I suppose you could do this with a little paintbrush also like I have over here. It would just um, be more rinsing that you would do to make sure it gets cleaned off and um, be a little more careful about the amount of glue that you're using with that. Maybe got a bit more in there than I wanted. And once I lay my paper in here, every once in a while it will curve up along the edges as it dries and that's no problem. You can just press it down again. Maybe once or twice it might need you to do that. This, once we get them in, will need to dry for about, about an hour, I would say, just until it's not white anymore, until it's hard to the touch. All right, have the glue in there. And the order I want my images in. I'm just gonna tap those down. I got so inspired by the holidays and wanting to make some nice gifts. You can see I created a couple using the angel sheets as well. I was able to get all those images off of just that one, one sheet here. I think they turned out really nice. So I'm going to keep tabs on this. Make sure I press down if they start to curve up. And we'll go ahead and let that dry. And then we'll come back and we'll do the sealant. All right, so we're back after letting the glue dry. And to make that go a little quicker, what I did was I took my toothpick and just mm, scraped along the edge a little bit to get any glops that were on there and kind of press to get that glue out from underneath that might be oozing along the edge. And so that's nice and dry and we're ready to add our sealant. Now this, again from Nun Designs, is excellent for sealing in the image before we pour our resin. And you want to do, just with your basic run-of-the-mill paintbrush here, two or three layers of this. And each one will take about 15 minutes to dry. So I'm going to dab that on each image. get real creative with these uh, these resin poured bracelets because I'm even having the idea of cutting out some of my daughter's drawings and putting little images of her art in or you could cut out samples of handwriting from letters people have written you or put special beads or rhinestones in for decoration photos of course there's lots of nice ways to personalize these all right, so there's our first layer of sealant. I'm going to let that dry for about 15 minutes and then probably apply another coat and another. And so I'll be back in a little bit to finally do the resin pour. Now, one tip that I did want to show you that I forgot was when I originally cut out my circles, I estimated that 17 would fit. And so with my pen, my pen, I drew my circle 
cut and it turned out too small. So then I did 18. Well, the same thing happened again. So finally 19 seemed to work really well and I just wanted to give you the tip that working with a slightly larger size than you think you will need is probably a good idea once you actually get to drawing the circle and cutting it out. So now I'm back after letting the sealant dry. I got three coats on there. It took about 15 minutes each for them to dry. I've got a popsicle platform here that's leveling out each of the bezels to make sure we get a nice flat straight pour. I've gone ahead and poured my two-part epoxy resin and you'll want to be sure to watch our video um, how to use the two-part epoxy resin by Nun Designs. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is give it a little bit of a stir, stir. I'm wearing gloves, obviously. A mask is a good idea if you want. And I'm going to scoop the extra off, come over and pour right down in the middle. Just let that drip off the tip. Nice and slow. And it will automatically go toward the edges so you don't really need to spread it. Now I'm down low looking at the level here of the table to make sure I don't overfill. Add a little bit more. It's nice to get as much as you can in there. Get a little bit of a dome without having it spill over top. Not going to push it. And the next one. And once I have these filled, they will take 24 hours to get a soft cure, which means tacky to the touch, and three full days to get a hard cure. So once you've poured your resin, you want to make sure you do it in a place where it's okay to leave the piece still until it's dry. Whoa, that was close. And like I said, this is a great project to incorporate personalized touch with photographs or writing samples or special small treasures even. Right. Almost done there. Excellent. Okay. So, I hope this video was helpful and these components are all available at beataholic.com. Thanks for watching.